Hello there traveler! In this video guide tutorial, I'm going to talk about the first challenge in this event. Here are the timestamps for this video tutorial. We travelers will sail in the vast sea of the Golden Apple Archipelago using our Wave Rider and clear the sea of any monster encampments. To start our journey, we need to go to the nearest Wave Rider waypoint to summon our boat. These wave points can be found all over the map, which means you can summon a new one anywhere. Upon riding the wave rider, you can see that it is equipped with two types of weapons. The Swift Strike Cannon that deals normal attack damage and the Heavy Cannon that deals a massive amount of damage. The boat is also equipped with a speed boost that consumes stamina to gain speed. Let's open our map again. Click the event icon and then the navigate button to mark the first floating monster camp. Now let's head over there to start the challenge. As you can see, this is what the monster encampment looks like. It will look different and a bit more challenging as we progress in this event. First, we need to destroy the light floating towers. We can utilize the explosive barrels by attacking them with swift strike. The wave rider will automatically aim for the barrels which deals a lot of damage to the light floating towers. Next is the barriers around the heavy tower so that we can reach it more easily. We can pick up PT pearls that decrease the cooldown of our heavy cannon. Watch out for whirlpools near the tower. We must carefully avoid getting caught by it during the challenge. We focus last on the heavy tower because it cannot be destroyed by our weapon. Defeating all the monsters on the towers completes the challenge. This can be done by knocking them out of the tower using an elemental skill or burst by executing them. And that's basically it. Now that you know the basics, here are a few information that you may find useful. There are a total of 5 monster encampments that circles around the archipelago. When we drain all of the speed boost stamina of our Rave Rider, we can instantly refresh it by ejecting ourselves in the air and immediately ride our boat again. In some monster encampments, there is a wind barrier protecting the light floating towers. In order to destroy those, you have to utilize the explosive barrels surrounding them. It takes 7 shots of sweep strike to destroy a light tower and 2 shots from the heavy cannon. For the barriers, it takes 4 shots from Swift Strike and 1 shot from the Heavy Cannon. When you get caught on a Whirlpool, you'll consume the stamina of the Wave Rider and slowly destroy it. You will be automatically ejected up in the air when the boat is completely destroyed. If your character gets caught on a Whirlpool, the same principle applies. You will just immediately respawn on the nearest heavy tower with a minor deduction in health and with an empty elemental burst. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.